And the lies keep coming about New York Congressman-elect George Santos and his background, this time about his education growing up. Fox 5's Jody Goldberg breaks down all the latest developments in this seemingly never-ending saga. As George Santos gets closer to being sworn in, calls for the 34-year-old Republican to resign are growing louder amid federal and local investigations. It is time to step up to take action and to hold George Santos accountable. Dozens of constituents and leaders from New York's 3rd District making it clear they don't want Santos seated. People like you have resorted to deception to take power. As his list of lies grows longer. Is that need a good prep school? The latest lie, according to sources, there's no record that Santos ever went to Horace Mann Prep in the Bronx. And despite learning earlier this week that he didn't go to college either, he still lists himself as an economist on Facebook. As for his website, there's a new About Me page after he also admitted embellishing his professional and religious beliefs. Mr. Santos, lies are insulting and demeaning to every child of a Holocaust survivor. How do I know? Because I am a child of a Holocaust survivor. Now in the event Santos does step aside, experts say traditionally his seat would remain empty until the governor held a special election where the executive committee of both parties would choose the candidates, typically within three months of it happening. I'm disappointed. North Hempstead Town Supervisor Jennifer DeSena says Santos isn't welcome in the town. She's among the growing number of members in his own party speaking out. This is not a Democrat and Republican issue. This is all the constituents of the third congressional district are are concerned and disappointed. Santos nor his team have responded to our continued request for comment. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.